is on the beach. Is on the beach. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Arenda, and I am back with another video. How has everybody been doing? These past couple weeks, I have been busy. We've been busy, but I won't complain. Um, I just want to come in here, check in, and give y'all some updates. First, before I get started, please like, subscribe, comment, and share my channel because I do be giving great information, and I try to help everybody out as much as I can. I have been getting a whole bunch of emails, um, and I try to respond back to everybody. I've been having a couple people ask me to call them. Like, I didn't forget about y'all. The only thing is, I'm just trying to figure out, figure it out. Like, I don't have social media to, you know, to do like a Facebook call, or however people be calling through social media. I probably need to go ahead and download the app or like invest in a second phone but most likely i'll download the app to, to go forward or like do zoom or something but i'm working on it i didn't forget about you trust me i know it's two people for sure that want me to call them um but yeah just you know keep emailing me and everything and i'll email you all back um we got a little situation going on with the truck but it's uh nothing major kind of but it's getting taken care of I'm not even worried about it. Once everything is done, then I'll make a video about everything that, that happened. But nothing we did wrong or anything. But, yeah. When the time comes, I will let you all know about it. But in the meantime, if you're driving on the road and you're sleepy, pull over. You know, it's, it's dangerous to be driving and you're tired. Just pull over. Take a, a, a cat nap. Or something cause somebody to let the windows down but if you sleep you just pull over because you can um kill yourself and somebody else it, it, it's serious um but anyway yeah i was able to help my dad's friend get his um authority started and i was able to help a cousin also like start the process and everything and everybody may ask me like why don't you start a course because for one I don't want to start a course. Everybody has courses. I purchased a course myself and to support someone. But in reality, like even that person to tell you everything that you need is on YouTube is absolutely free. If you do your research yourself, it's free. Um, so no, I don't want to do a course. But you all, if you research like everybody else do, you don't have to spend all that money on courses. I know they are kind of expensive, but YouTube, Demetrius Brown page, um, everything that you need to know, my page, uh, the box truck couple. I know it's a few of them out there that gives great information. Uh, if you want to get into like the Zoom calls that we are that we do on Sundays, like with Demetrius group, yes, then you have to like pay to get questions answered and stuff like that. But as far as like a course goes. No, I won't be doing a course. But I was thinking yesterday and I was talking to my husband and my sister or whatever. And I was letting them know, like, you know, by me helping my dad's friend get his authority and everything started. I'm talking about I didn't have to do his EIN, but I am willing to help people get that EIN, LLC, um, BOC3, UCR, uh, MCS150 applying for their authority like a business email address because he did not have one so i did that for him and everything it took me about two hours to do everything for my dad's friend and i asked him you know how did he think i did he said i did an excellent job so you know it's a lot of people that don't want to do the process at all they want other people to do it for them or it may be stressful for some people so I am going to start helping people uh, do the business startup as far as everything that I just mentioned. But when it comes to applying for like EIN numbers, it is different in every state. Uh, it's, the LLC is different as far as pricing goes. The EIN too, I know I think I paid maybe 7 or $10. I don't remember because I did it back in January. But I don't remember how much I pay for mine. But it's different in each state. But when you apply for your EIN number, it does uh, 
ask for a sensitive information like a social security number. So if you all want help, I recommend that you either do the EIN number on your own or you can trust me to help you. Um, I am going to start with doing five people at a time because I don't want to get overwhelmed with work when I do have other work and I am trying to run a business still. So with me helping my dad's friend, I realized that this is something that I can do. This is something that I don't mind doing and it's not hard to me. Just like when people want dispatchers because they don't want to make the phone calls when technically you can dispatch yourself, but it's nothing wrong with dispatchers. So I would be, um, I'm almost done creating uh, my uh, business startup on Shopify. It would be $300 and that's not including the prices to pay for the uh the fees for like the dot the dot number you know that's three hundred dollars the uco i think that's fifty nine dollars and a boc3 that's twenty five dollars so that three hundred dollars does not include that fee that three hundred dollars is for two hours of my time and whatever questions that you all have when it comes to the business startup as far as people calling me asking me questions and stuff or, I mean, you know, emailing me, answering, asking questions and stuff about simple stuff. I will continue to do that. I'm strictly helping people start the business up who don't want to do it, who need help doing it, or who just wants to get walked through the process. Now, if you want to get walked through the process and just ask me some questions, then we can figure that out. But if you actually want me to do it for you, it is going to be $300 because it does take time and yeah it takes a, it takes some time like i said it took me two hours to do my dad's friends but he was extremely happy i walked him through the entire process on the phone but i did everything for him like i told him everything i was doing step by step um yeah so that's something that i am going to do comment below and let me know um what y'all think about that any type of feedback i definitely appreciate it you will not hurt my feelings so um any feedback would be great about that uh so yeah that's coming soon i'm working on that hopefully i can get that up and running by monday because i honestly don't i don't mind doing it once i get the first five people done i will get their feedback and then i'll keep going from there but um the next thing i want to talk about is the low board uh the best time to look at the low boards are in the wee hours of the morning. I know I keep saying, I'm going to get on here and show you all, but in reality, I can come on live and show y'all the low boards, but you all won't see the half of the great things that you all will find on the low boards unless it's like one or two in the morning. Um, with that being said, you all know that it's peak season. My friend from Atlanta was screenshotting me all of these uh, loads from Amazon. Uh, they was from 150 miles to, no, I think it started at like 124 miles. I didn't see anything over 200 miles, but they were paying between $750 and $1,000 for those miles with Amazon. It was on the dad board, but you do have to have access to the dad board and you do have to already be on with Amazon in order for you to get those um, those loads. But I was just saying that to say, you probably won't see it on Amazon, but you will see it on the dad board. Uh, Amazon, uh, I know that their, their load board, you can get on there around one or two in the morning and get those great loads too. But remember, the East Coast and the West Coast are two different time zones. So one coast is up, you know, working and the other one is sleep. So you have to get up early in the morning just to catch the lows on the load board. But minus everything that we went through a couple of weeks ago, that's um, we're working on the truck or whatever, we have been doing really good. I'm just ready to start back rolling again. Um, I want another truck, which I am going to get another truck. I say by the end of this year, maybe January, I will have another truck. So we can keep rolling and scaling the business. Uh, one truck is great, but I know two trucks will be better. 
if you have somebody that can be a business partner with you, if you can't just jump in and start up, you save, take your taxes, anything that you can do like I did to get a truck, that'd be great. Um, but for the most part, y'all, I'm still rocking and rolling. We still enjoying life. Remember to stay positive. You determine your day. I hope everybody have a wonderful day. But please comment and let me know what you all think about the business startup. Because I'm a little nervous about it. Just like getting on here, talking to you all. I kind of be nervous, but I'm used to it. I feel like I'm talking to my family. Uh, I won't get offended by anything. I hope it's great feedback. But uh, just let me know what y'all think about everything. And I hope y'all doing great. Don't forget to... Sign up for these low boards yourself so you can book these lows. Like I said before, it's nothing wrong with dispatchers. It's people who just want to roll and don't want to dispatch themselves. So that's where dispatchers come into place. But if you want to do everything yourself, um, I say go to TQL, Landstar, CH Robinson, um, 123, that. These are all low boards that you all can get on and book the lows yourself i know ch robinson you can book out a week you know they probably have stuff out two weeks but i have mine set up for like a week at a time when you go on these places and they say oh you know ten thousand pounds 53 foot box truck you ask them like how many pallets is it you know a box truck can hold 12 pallets so if it's not 12 pallets and it's under ten thousand pounds are they stackable if they're stackable ask them could you get the load that's what I always do with C.H. Robinson. And guess what they say? Yes, you can. Don't go less on the pay because it's a box truck. Get what they have posted. Take what they have posted. Do not shorten yourself. This is your business. So I just want to encourage everybody to keep going. Stay safe. Uh, watch out for drivers. You can't just drive for yourself. You have to drive for everybody around you also. Um, but yeah, if y'all have any questions or anything you can always email me at mcj logistics with an s on the end 32 at gmail.com i don't mind you all can keep them coming i really enjoy it i actually love it to know that i'm able to help other people um but thank you again i hope you all have a wonderful day stay safe